Alicia Van Campen, a librarian at Herndon Fortnightly Library, a branch of the Fairfax County Public Library. I'm here today to talk to you about Skunk and Badger by Amy Timberlake. Skunk and Badger is a shorter chapter book and it is a lot of fun. Badger lives by himself in his Aunt Lula's house. He doesn't own the house, but his Aunt Lula said that he could live there because Badger needs to do important rock work. Badger lives quietly by himself and follows a steady routine doing important rock work. One day, there's a knock on the door. Who is at the door but a skunk? Badger has no desire to talk to a skunk, but the skunk says that Aunt Lula sent him and she said he could live with Badger. This is terrible news. Badger does not want to live with anyone. But Aunt Lula said skunk doesn't have anywhere to go because sometimes no one wants a skunk. Badger let skunk move into his house and chaos ensues. Skunk takes apart his boxes. Skunk makes elaborate breakfasts. And there are the chickens. More and more chickens. There are starting to be chickens everywhere chickens. More chickens. Where are all of these chickens coming from? Badger is not happy. He wants to tell Skunk and the chickens to leave and get out of his house. Badger loses his temper. If you would like to hear whether or not Skunk and Badger are able to live together and whether or not Badger is able to make it up to Skunk for losing his temper, then read Skunk and Badger by Amy Timberlake, available as a print book, as a book on CD, as an ebook, and an e-audiobook at the Fairfax County Public Library.